Hello everybody, it's Candy from The Candy Show and I'm back with an empties video. I really thought that I would be doing this with less empties, but it's crazy how fast your empties pile up when you are, you know, collecting them. So let's just jump right into it. First off, something you've seen before, the Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Repair Mask. Um, I every time use this till there's absolutely nothing left. I actually just found a bit of a bigger size of this on Amazon. Um, sometimes we find these in our winners here, but most of the time I have to go to Amazon to get them. My favorite, favorite hair mask, I use it once a week. A hand wash from Bath and Body Works. This one was in Vermont Sugar Maple. It was so good, we felt like drinking it. That's how nice it smelled. A face cleanser from Nivea. This was the Nivea Visage Q10 Plus Anti-Wrinkle Cleansing Lotion. Me, whatever, take it or leave it. Too much perfume. That's always my complaint with all Nivea products. Too much perfume. A couple of candles to share with you. Denise and I use an artificial tree. So every year at the holiday time, we try to get a candle that smells like a real Christmas tree. This is from Bath and Body Works. It's called Fresh Balsam. And it did give our house the smell uh, of a real tree. And this says, with the first big snowfall of the season comes a delightful scent of balsam and fir trees layered with notes of fresh eucalyptus and it really gave us that real feeling of, of uh, a Christmas tree during the season. This wasn't necessarily seasonal but we really loved it. It was the cinnamon and clove buds and it had a real uh, sort of sweet strong cinnamony smell reminded me of kind of hot toddy drinks at this time of the year. Lovely candle. I have used up this Bioderma. I ordered this from France before you could get it here in Canada. Now you can buy it at Shoppers Lawns, what have you. People go on and on about Bioderma, about how much they love it, whatevs. Um, I didn't find it crazy good. It did not remove my eye makeup very well. I don't like using this kind of stuff to remove my makeup on my face because it's drying and I'm 45 and I don't need to have any moisture sucked out of me. So. Uh, doubtful that you'll ever see this in my collection again. It's up a body mist from Bath and Body Works. This one is the Country Chic, which is the smell I really, really love. Um, but because I have so much perfume, I am not buying any more body mist for a long time. Another hand wash. You're used to seeing these. This is the Pure and Basic Bath and Body Wash in Tropical Paradise. This smelled fantastic. You know, Denise and I use these to wash our hands and we go through them like crazy, plus all those small hand washes. It kills me. I was watching a guru the other day that was showing a hand wash in a bottle about this big and she was like, oh, I've had this all year. And I was thinking, yikes, how not often do you not wash your hands? Yikes, scary. I've got two of the same things here from Lush. This is the Rug Lush. Rose Argan Body Conditioner. I don't like it. Um, I got this as a sample in a gift and I went out and bought the big one before I actually tried the small one, which was a mistake. Um, this stuff is meant to be put on after you've washed in the shower. Just like you put conditioner on your hair, you're meant to rub this all over your body and then rinse it off. You have to rinse it off using your hands because if you don't, it will leave like goop on your skin. When you get out of the shower, you still need lotion. It's not enough moisture for you to avoid body lotion. So I, for one, don't need an extra step in the shower. What I wish, how I ended up using it up is I used it as shave cream, which it works lovely as shave cream, except that it gunks up in your razor. Um, what I wish though, is I wish they would come out with a Oh, a body lotion in this scent. It smells like a bucket of roses. It is a beautiful, beautiful scent and I love the scent of roses. So I really like the smell of it, but I'll never buy it again. I used up an underarm deodorant. This is Secret Flawless Renewal Totally Fresh Invisible Deodorant. It's all right. I'm not loyal to deodorant. I jump around, so I will continue to jump around. I used up a rose water and glycerin. This is from Heritage Products. I have to order this online to get it in. I use this in my homemade toner that I use, which I love more than any other toner I can buy. We used up one of my favorites, the Cocoa Butter Body Lotion. This has been a favorite of mine since I was like 20. Denise has just recently fallen in love with it. I put it on the kitchen, on the bathroom counter, and she started using it and was like, oh my God, this stuff. I know. 
It's fantastic. This was a hand wash we used at Halloween. It's Keep Calm and Carve On with a scary jack-o'-lantern on the front, which who can't love that? I used up a hair care product. This is from the L'Oreal uh, Hair Expertise line, and this is the Eversleek Sulfate Free Smoothing System Humidity Defying Leave-In Cream. Nice short name on that. Um, it, it was fine. It works like any other styling cream. Did it get rid of my frizzies? No, I have champion size frizzies and usually only my hairstylist can get rid of that with a hair blower and his incredible skill. Um, which if you're in the Halifax area, he has opened a new salon, Iron Salon, so check it out. There's a body lotion that went with that uh, body mist that I just showed you. Country Chic. Again, just love the smell. I used up one of these Ula Henriksen Truth To Go wipes. Of all the makeup remover wipes, this is absolutely my favorite. It does not dry your skin out. I don't use them regularly. As I said, the only time I rely on these is sometimes when it's very, very late. I've had a few too many and I just can't make it to the bathroom to wash my face. Instead of sleeping with my makeup on, I will use this to take my makeup off and these are my favorite. Disclaimer, sorry for the lipstick that has been showing up on and off on my teeth. Uh, this is a sample I got in Sephora for Christmas from the Stila uh, lip balm, colored lip balms or whatever, and uh, it's been getting on my teeth a lot. Uh, another really delicious hand cleanser. This is the Seattle Hazelnut Latte. That also smelled great. This up a shampoo. This is the Organics line Moroccan Argan Oil Renewing Conditioner. Sorry, it's a conditioner, not a shampoo. The shampoo is about three uses from none in the shower right now, but I love this. If I didn't have a gazillion bottles of shampoo and conditioner waiting to be used, I would definitely buy this again. This up a lovely lotion. This is actually a body cream from Bath & Body Works called Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. Um, but we used it both on body and on hands. Denise loves it on the hands. And the packaging on these new tubes of body butter are so beautiful. And this smelled really, really gorgeous as well. Um, this is a toner. I told you I make a homemade toner. This is the L'Oreal Hydra Refresh Toner and it's alcohol free. For some reason, I can't buy this in Canada. Again, I have to order this online to get my hands on it. But I cut this, half the bottle with this, half the bottle with that rose and glycerin water, and then I put a couple of essential oils in. That's basically my homemade toner. And um, so I've used up one of these. Uh, another body lotion we used up, of course, we're in the cold season, so we're going through body lotion like butta. This is the Aveeno Active Naturals Daily Moisturizing Lotion. Great if you have itchy skin or sensitivities because there's no scent to this. This is the lotion that Denise and I both use to heal our tattoos um, because it is a, a really great fragrance free because fragrance in a lotion will aggravate a healing tattoo and it has natural colloidal uh, oatmeal in it so we use this a lot. I went through a wet ones. I keep these here at my vanity table just to clean my hands as, uh, as I'm working through. It's antibacterial hand and face wipes plus it's in a pretty pink jar as opposed to the normal blue and white. I used up one of my cool brush cleaners. As you know this is one of my favorite if not my most favorite cleaner for brushes. I am going to try the uh, Johnson Johnson shampoo just to see if it works because it is a little bit cheaper but if not I'll definitely be running back to this because I really love it. Another candle, this one was from Halloween, it's called Roasted Pumpkin Butter. Whoa! <laughs> this is one of the ones that we really um, wanted to eat. It smelled that good, it was just delicious. This was uh, from Candles by Victoria, as you can see. It's a mess! Um, but it was fantastic. It was in the smell um, Cafe Olay and it smelled wonderful. I'm not sure what's all leaking and funky on it right now, but Candles by Victoria, my favorite candle. I used up one of my face balm cleansers. This is the Emma Hardy Amazing Face Moringa Cleansing Balm. Since discovering this months ago, I have not used anything else to remove my makeup. I am so in love with this product. I order it from a site in the UK called feelunique.com and um, it's just a fantastic, fantastic makeup remover balm. I went through a lot of lashes this season because I had a lot of gigs over the last few months. I went through a whole multi-pack. These are the Ardell Natural Multi-Pack. Uh, 110's in black and there's four pairs in there. Went through them all. Went through two pair of uh, sugar pill lashes. Unfortunately, these don't say uh, on them which style they were and I can't remember what they were now, but 
used them multiple times and then had to let them go. Went through a red cherry set of lashes. These were the number one blacks. These are of course 100% human hair. Again, a lot of lashes get used when I'm on stage a lot. Another hand cream for you. This is the Aspen Autumn Day, which we started to use at the beginning of fall and smelled absolutely beautiful. Got another Lush product for you here. This is the Skin Sin body lotion by Lush. Really, really nice body lotion. Definitely keeps you moisturized for the full 24 hours and has a beautiful light scent that won't clash with your other perfumes. Used up this Lush product. This is the Lemony Flutter Cuticle Butter. I love this stuff. This is like yellow gold. It is magical. I use it on my cuticles. I use it on my elbows. When my heels are really, really dry, I use it on my heels. It's just an incredible thick balm with a really lovely lemon butter scent to it. Um, and Denise and I both use this. We absolutely love it. Used up a hand cream. This was the Cranberry Joy hand cream. It's from the Body Shop and it was a lovely hand cream. Also used up this hand cream. This is a small sample size of the Nukes Paris Rêve de Miel cream, hand, hand and nail cream. Rêve de Miel. Miel is honey. Not sure what Rêve is, but anyway. Uh, repairs, uh, nourishes, and protects great hand cream. This I didn't use up. This is um, a Kat Von D lipstick, and it's in the color Hal Bent. What happened on this is the arse end of this lipstick, all their lipsticks have this little thing in the end that shows you the color. It started to bleed and leak and get all over everything, so I actually just um, took the bullet right out of the lipstick and put it in a little pot for me to use and I've had this problem with Kat Von D's lipsticks three different times with the back end either leaking or coming off so that's something I hope she works on and fixes. I used up this little face wash this is the Clinique liquid facial soap in mild I have these in my travel uh, bag so that when I'm traveling I use this to wash my face in the mornings, not to remove makeup, just to wash my face in the mornings. I also used up an eye cream. This is a deluxe sample of the Lancome Reenergy Lift Multi Action Eye, um, which is a really lovely anti-aging eye cream and I would definitely buy it in big. I used up one of my EOS lip balms, again they never put the, uh, the flavors on the packaging so once it's gone I never remember what it is. Oh, Denise is giving me the lip signs of it is pomegranate, so I guess that was my pomegranate. This one you might remember seeing in a haul right before Christmas. It's the Pink Almond Candy by Philosophy, and I totally used that up. Um, like, dug it out until there's absolutely nothing left in it. It was nice, but it is too soft, so you use it too fast. I think I was through that in like a week and a half. So that is a little soft. Got some mascaras to show you that I went through. This is the Revlon Lash Potion by Grow Luscious. Uh, big, big points for the most fantastic packaging. And it was a nice mascara. I enjoyed it. Uh, I'll show you the wand. It's got a nice big fat wand on it, which I really appreciated. But again, I only keep my mascaras going for three months, so it had to go. Uh, this also was one that I had that I used when I traveled. It is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes, and it's a sample size version of it. And it has a smaller wand. What I like about this mascara, if you want your eyes, your eyelashes to look supernatural, nicely defined, and divided, but they, you know, not plumped up, this will do it. I also used up this Kat Von D. Well, I'm not sure I used it up so much as it dried out on me. It's the Kat Von D Saint Eyeliner in the color Trooper. I have two more Trooper eyeliners, but in other formulas. Um, I like it except for eyes my age, the tip was um, a little bit hard for me. This is no stranger to my empties. This is the Maybelline Lash Discovery Mini Brush Mascara. I use this exclusively on my lower lashes. I'm wearing it today because I have another tube opened. I go through this like water. Again, oddly enough, can't buy it in Canada. Don't know why. So I just order mine on eBay and get it sent to me. I bought this Colossal Maybelline, the Colossal Volume Express in waterproof because I had a very close friend who died in October. <clears throat> Excuse me, I usually don't wear waterproof mascara. But there was a lot of public crying happening during that time. 
So I went out and got myself a waterproof mascara just so that I wouldn't be looking like Alice Cooper at the end of every day, and it served its purpose. It's hard as hell to get off though, which is why I don't like waterproof mascara. I used up this, and this has become one of my favorite products of all time. And it is amazing. I bought that, you know, Yves Saint Laurent Touche Eclat pen for like an exorbitantly huge price. Um, this is, however, the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Concealer. And I use it not as a concealer, but as a concealer slash brightening for under the eye. It is fantastic. It is so good. And it's under 10 bucks. I went out and, um, and repurchased it already because it's such a great product. I don't usually show a lot of testers in my empties, but I had to with these. Um, I made an order with a British company and I can't remember... Yeah, it wasn't for my face wash, it was for the P60 exfoliator that I use. And they always send like a huge amount of testers. So they sent me this Valmont, which is usually the testers that I get. Um, I went online and checked it out uh, because I never heard of it. This stuff in the regular size jar, which is not that much bigger than this, is 220 bucks. Anyway, this one was called the Renewing Pack, which was basically the night cream. It was all right. I only paid 220 bucks for it. And they also sent me the Prime 24 Hour, which is the day cream. Again, all right, but not 220 dollars. All right. That's crazy. I used up one of these. This, I peeled the label off it. Um, this is the Rose Face Mask by Fresh. I got a bunch of this size. I bought this product large already, but I got five of this size in uh, Sephora orders leading up to Christmas. So that's like a pot and a half at 60 bucks a pot. And I got these for free. I love this mask. It's a moisture mask. You can use it every day if you want to. I generally use it when I'm in the bathtub and it's so good. I used up this little guy. This is the Body Shop's Hemp Foot Protector. Um, a lovely foot cream. It was just a sample size of it, but I love the entire hemp line by the Body Shop. You've seen this before. This is one of my favorite lip balms of all time. This is the Lush Honey Trap. I've tried other of these Lush lip balms in the tin. Didn't like them very much, but Honey Trap. Oh, this must be, I don't know, the 20th of these that I've had. Love it. And I usually use this exclusively at night before I go to bed. It's one of those um, lip balms that if I put this on before bed, when I wake up in the morning, my lips are still moisturized. This is another lip balm that I used up. This is the Sephora Super Nourishing Lip Balm uh, Get Addicted. It was, I, I it, you know, you put it on at night, you wake up at three o'clock in the morning and your lips are dry. So not long lasting. I used up this body butter from the body shop. This one was in, uh, I think that is hazelnut. They never say what they are anymore. They just show the picture and I'm just not sure what picture that is, but I think it's hazelnut. Um, it was lovely. I'm in love with all the body shop butters. This is yet another one of those country sheet body moisturizers from Bath and Body Works. It's just a scent I really enjoy. All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. I use this eye cream up. This is Ula Henriksen Fresh Start Eye Cream. And it's a lovely eye cream. It says that it nourishes with antioxidants to diminish fine lines and wrinkles. And I use it quite often. I've bought this a few times. Denise uses it religiously. It's a great eye cream. I use it mostly at night. I used this up, which I got a little Caudalie uh, sampler kit before Christmas from Sephora. And this is their Divine Oil. Uh, for body, face, or hair. I used it exclusively on my body and loved it. <clears throat> I just want to say, you know, there has been a huge thing about oils. Like, oils are all the rage now, and they started with the hair oils and then moved into the face oils. Now you're seeing a lot of companies promote their body oils, and I just want to shout out to Neutrogena. Neutrogena came out with a sesame body oil, I'm not sure when they came out with it. I discovered it in about 1984 and have been using it on my skin since 1984. Um, it is still to date my favorite body oil. Hats off to Neutrogena for coming up with that idea like 30 years before everybody else did. It's still my favorite body oil. But this was a really nice uh, body oil. Caudalie, again, I haven't tried it on face or hair so I can't attest to that, but it was lovely on the body. This is an interesting little product. It's a tester of the Ultra Balm from Lush. 
and it is extremely thick. It reminds me of the Burt's Bees Super Bomb. And it's great. What I used it for was my elbows. As you age, you will find your elbows get drier looking. And I find some women don't pay attention to that. And um, it shows your age when your elbows look like elephant elbows. Not good. Used up one of my lash adhesives. This is the Duo Eyelash Adhesive in the Dark Tone, um, which I love. I got a bigger version of this on the go right now. Another lip balm that I used up it is the Body Shop Cocoa Butter Lip Care Stick. Um, it was all right. I probably wouldn't buy it again. And my final two products in this empties marathon. I had this deluxe sample of Versace's Yellow Diamond Perfume, which I used up. Not a fan. It's just not a smell for me. Um, it just smelled too much like nothing special, if you know what I mean. Like just yet another perfume didn't have a special scent to it, so I would never buy it in big. Although, kudos on the bottle. The bottle's adorable. I came to the end of my Cad Von D Saint perfume, and I don't know what is happening because I immediately went to Sephora online to order a bigger bottle, not the purse size, but the big white bottle. Put it in my basket, did some other shopping, went to check out when it was time to check out. I got a little message saying, one item in your cart cannot be shipped to Canada. I looked in, it was friggin' Saint by Kat Von D. So then I called down to the uh, shoppers here where I live and they said, oh yeah, we don't carry the perfume anymore. We still have all the rest of the Kat Von D line, but not the perfumes. And her only two perfumes that she still carries are Saint and Sinner. Um, and I have all of them, even the ones that are discontinued now, but I'm out of Saint. So then I really freaked out. So I went online to eBay and I found a big bottle of it there and I bought it there. And then the seller contacted me and said, oh, I went to the post office to mail this to you. And as soon as I said it was perfume, because you know, they have to declare what it is because it's going outside the country. The post office would not mail it because it was perfume. So I'm in a friggin' panic because it is my most favorite perfume. I get compliments on it all the time. I was able to get my hands on two of these little roller balls, but that won't last long. So my final last desperation is my, uh, I have a friend who lives in California. She was my makeup artist for years and she has gotten married and left the country, unfortunately. So it doesn't do my makeup anymore, but I still email with her all the time. And I've asked her if she could go to the Sephora there in California, get me a couple of bottles and bring it back with her the next time she comes. And she said, well, could I mail it to you? But I don't think she can because when she goes to the post office and declares what it is, and I wouldn't want her to lie on what it is, she just got citizenship to the States. Could you imagine getting kicked out of the States because you lied about mailing perfume? But I would like to know what the issue is. And I, I went to Kevin D's Facebook page and I, sent a message saying like could somebody let me know what's happening with the perfume and why we can't get it here in Canada anymore and nobody responded so uh yeah so that's that the end of this makes me want to cry um I will like ration out these little roller balls that I've got left as I you know try to work it out I have a friend Wyatt that goes to the states quite often so I'm hoping he's going to plan a trip to the states soon if he does I'm going to give him money to buy me two or three bottles and I'll just hoard it here I don't know why they do that though. I don't know why you come up with something, let us have it here in Canada for a little bit, let us fall in love with it, and then pull it out from underneath us. Drives me bananas. Anyway, that's it. That's the end of my empties. And sadly, because of the mess, I've always kept my empties in this gorgeous uh, bag here, which I really, really like. It's, you know, it shows cute ladies and it's pink with the zebra. But I think this might have been the last empties in this bag because it got pretty dirty. Alright, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.